My name is Arlen Reinstra and I'm from Crown Point, Indiana. I've been collecting for 50 years. In the early 70s, uh, I went out to uh, uh, the building to take a break and um, the linemen were changing out some insulators, dropping them on the ground and I uh, picked up a couple and asked if I could have them and for, my, for paperweights for the office and they said sure. And then I started getting curious about them, so I went to the local library and found some of the early insulator guides and books and uh, started finding them or looking for them wherever I went. And I met some of the early uh, uh, patriarchs of the um, collecting field and uh, started corresponding with them by mail and uh, responding to their sales lists that were uh, published in the magazine. I love to research, I love to uh, get out and, uh, and go on a hunt and, or try to find collections that maybe are for sale. Uh, the year that uh, Tina and I were on our honeymoon, she was kind of shocked to find out that uh, I would actually take time in our honeymoon travels to uh, go check out a, uh, a local that was, uh, had insulators for sale. My first insulator was the one that uh, was dropped by a lineman and I'm pretty certain it was a clear Hemingway 42, but it may have been a Whittle Tatum. My first show, I'm trying to recall, I don't know the year, but it was in Greencastle, Indiana. My favorite insulator is a uh, McKee 731 that I actually located uh, in my town where I live uh, along the rail right away, uh, just looking and digging in. So I specialize in King City Glassworks insulators. And that all started when I went to that uh, Greencastle show and um, saw a little display on Indiana insulators. And I had recently uh, just come to Indiana and uh, I believe it was Mike McLaughlin had a display with showing some Square D insulators, Hemingway insulators, and uh, King City Glassworks insulators. and title of his uh, display was Indiana Insulators, so I didn't know anything about King City Glassworks Insulators at that time, so that's when I started uh, checking it out. The reason I joined the NIA was because I needed to know more about where shows were and some of the other benefits of the show, such as a listing of uh, other collectors and uh, being able to uh, participate and contribute if I could, and uh, just generally uh, wanted to be immersed in the hobby. I have been to the shows here in Springfield um, since every year since the year 2000. I have not missed a one. And uh, my wife is not able to come with me every one of those years of several months when uh, there was some health issues. But uh, it's been a great place to come. And I have been to several national shows throughout the nation when they've been able to make them.